Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk, back in the video today, and today I'm going to be doing my 2023 NFL Christmas predictions, as we will see three games tomorrow on Christmas, first of all, before I make any predictions or preview any of these matchups, I want to wish everybody out there a Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, you never know what somebody celebrates, whether that's Kwanzaa or Hanukkah or Christmas, or if they don't celebrate anything. Um, so happy holidays to everybody. Happy New Year's as well. If you want to go a week advance, um, I don't think anybody will be watching this in a week advance, but it is only, it is a week away from the new year. Uh, we will see three matchups tomorrow, two divisional matchups. Now these are some playoff Im- incompletions here, um, because you have the Eagles. This is a big game for the Eagles today going up against the Giants. You just saw the Cowboys lose 22 to 20 today to the uh dolphins so that's a big win for the eagles today if they can get the win which that game will be at 3 30 if they can get the win over the giants they control their destiny to win that division if they win out the win what their last which which would be their last two games if they can win their last two games they'd be able to win the division Obviously, they do not hold the tiebreaker over the Dallas Cowboys right now, but the Cowboys sitting at 10-5 and five and the Eagles sitting at 10-4. and four. Obviously, the Eagles are, are w- winning that division right now, but let's say the Eagles were to lose the Giants tomorrow. They're, right, they're the Cowboys right there again leading that division. So if the Giants, sorry, if the Eagles can beat the Giants tomorrow, then they control their own destiny. Then the 49ers and the Ravens. I mean... It you know it's not like one of those teams loses it gives them a greater chance to make the playoffs or or if they lose it gives them worse chance these two are already locked in they're in the playoffs they've pretty much they 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 have won their I don't know if the Ravens have officially locked down the AFC North I know the Browns are still fighting to maybe even pull off a a, a big upset and get that a get the AFC North because they do I'm pretty sure they do hold the tiebreaker in the AFC North. So the Browns are ten and five. The Ravens, I believe, are eleven and four. I think there there could be there they would have to take a miracle for the Browns to maybe win the division. The Ravens have locked up the division, but they have clinched playoffs. Forty Nineers have won their division as well, so they're both gonna be in the playoffs. So, but that's that's the Super Bowl preview right there. The Chiefs and the Raiders. You know, the Raiders, it would take a, a huge miracle for them to get in the playoffs. They'd have to win out, and then some help would be needed as well. Um, and then for the Chiefs, a win would pretty much help them lock down uh, the AFC West if it's not already locked down. Uh, I think a win here, a win here for the Chiefs would win them the AFC West. All right, but let's get into some predictions for these games. First of all, start times for these games. Chiefs Raiders start at 12 o'clock. Eagles Giants start at 3.30. And the 49ers and the Ravens start at 7.15. Predictions for each game. Chiefs and the Raiders. I have the Chiefs beating the Raiders 24-21. to I think Travis Kelsey scores a touchdown in this game. Listen, uh, with some, some players out, you have Jarek McKinnon out for the Chiefs. He's now on IR. Uh... This is not a bad thing for the Chiefs necessarily. Kateri's Tony out. There's a couple of the wide receivers. There's some weapons out for Patrick Mahomes, which with, with weapons for Mahomes this year, if it isn't Kelsey or if it isn't Pacheco or is it if, or if it isn't Rasheed Rice, uh, you you might not want that player out on the field. Uh, those three guys you want on the field with Mahomes, but I mean everybody else. You got Marquez Valdez Scantley and Kadarius Tony who've. And even Sky Moore have been terrible this season and still getting a lot of reps. But guys like Justin Watson and Rasheed Weiss have been great at wide receiver this year. And, of course, Kelsey's going to do his thing. And when Pacheco's been healthy, he's been good on the field as well. And Clyde Edwards-Alaire has been good as well. But you're talking about two running backs right there. Uh, but I think Kelsey gets a touchdown tomorrow. If not, two. I'm, I'm thinking a big day gets, uh, for, for Travis Kelsey. He usually gets a touchdown at least one touchdown against the Raiders. Uh, I remember there was a game against them last year. He had like three or four touchdowns. I know he had at least one touchdown. He had, I'm pretty sure he had one touchdown in their last matchup a couple weeks ago against the Raiders. It might have been two. But I think a Kelsey touchdown in this game, and I got the Chiefs winning by three. Look, I know it was against the Chargers and the Raiders last win, but they showed some real, real good things against the against the Chargers. I mean... It it doesn't 
it's not very impressive to look great against the Chargers, but when you beat them the way they did, winning by 42 points, 63 to 21, uh, it's a good win. And I think the Raiders, who competed with the Chargers, uh, sorry, competed with the Chiefs last time out. The Raiders even started out with a 14-0 lead against the Kansas City Chiefs. They definitely can compete with this Kansas City Chiefs team. We'll see what happens. This time, it is in Kansas City. Last time, they were in Las Vegas. I have the Chiefs winning this one 24-21. Then the Eagles and the Giants. This is my Christmas lock. I have the Eagles winning 34-19. Can Tommy DeVito, you know, beat and upset the Eagles? I don't think so. Uh, the Eagles, sure, they're on their losing streak right, streak right now, but Giants don't have the best of defense, and uh, I think Jalen Jalen Hurts, a guy who's now, I'm assuming his, his illness is gone, fully healthy now for Jalen Hurts, and I think their offense will be more comfortable, and yeah, you know, they were going up, last week they were going up a, against a really really good secondary so their wide receivers especially AJ Brown had a little bit of a hard time uh you know getting some good routes and getting open a little bit as well I think AJ Brown has a really good game for this in, in this one for the Philadelphia Eagles and I got the Eagles winning 34 to 19 I'm not for sure on this one because I think this one it can go either way but I have the 49ers winning 26 to 23 against the Ravens I think it'll be a great game and it'll definitely be the best game out of them all for sure a hundred percent but I think the 49ers take it take it over and win by three points in this one, 26 to 23. Let me know your thoughts on my predictions in the comment section, and peace out. Merry Christmas, everybody.